Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, we're going to change the air color. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Ramelli. I am a French photographer living in the beautiful city of Paris, France, and the very sunny city of Los Angeles. And I make two tutorials per week. Click here if you want to get the raw files of this episode and all the past episodes, over 200 raw files. All you have to do is subscribe to my daily newsletter or click here if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In last episode, I showed you how to play around with Dodge and Burn and gave you some nice secrets and tips and tricks. Check it out. This week, I want to show you a cool Photoshop technique to change hair color. We're going to take a photo of my lovely daughter, Maureen, and give her all kind of different colors. So let me show you this right now. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. So in this episode, I want to talk to you about changing hair color. Uh, changing hair color on the, on the photo is a pretty delicate subject because it's kind of hard to do and it's going to get you to really understand the basics of Photoshop a lot better. So this is a photo of my lovely daughter Marine that I shot a while back while doing a course and I want to try to give her different hair colors. The first thing we're going to be doing is I'm going to make a, the best selection that I can on, the, on her hair. So for this I'm going to take the quick select tool which is located here, quick select tool. And by default, you get a little plus, and I'm just gonna paint above her hair until I've got uh, a very approximate selection. Okay, now I've got a, a way too much. I press Command Z to undo, and I can redo this. I can make my brush bigger or smaller by holding Control and Alt and making it bigger or smaller. So I'm gonna make it a bit smaller. I just wanna select this. And you see it's selected inside uh, her face. I don't want that, so I'm going to press Alt. And I'm going to unselect. I really only want a selection of her hair and nothing else. So I'm pressing minus. Basically, when you press Alt, your brush becomes a minus. When you let it go, it's a plus. So I don't want her skin. I only want her hair. Okay. Voila. I'm going to minus this out. And we're going to use the famous refine edge let me take this out i mean try to do the best job you can you know with the quick select tool always and then we're gonna use a refine edge to refine the edges you know that's the whole idea okay and a good selection is going to be really the basic of this thing because there's many many traps that's going to make this pretty hard okay so that's my basic selection refine edge uh, by default, I got a brush. I'm going to make that brush bigger or smaller using the Control and Alt. And I'm just going to paint around her hair. Voila. To um, And there's a good contrast, so it should do a pretty decent job. Oh, I got her here that's there. That shouldn't be there. So that's fine. But one of the key trick on doing this type of selection is to use several tools. Uh, using the, uh, the this tool, the Refine Edge, is just the first step. Uh, then there is a, a second step, which is the, the Quick Mac mo mode, which is really important. Okay, so now that's ba my basic selection. I'm just going to click OK. It's going to make a selection. And now I'm going to press Q. Very important. By pressing Q, you see the hairs become red again. But that's just showing my selection. Uh, I rather want a black and white selection for th for this. I'm going to go to channel and I'm going to turn off ARGB. So you see, in black is what is selected, in white it's not. It's what's not selected. You see, and this w which is very light gray here. I don't want this selection. I want to refine my um, my mask. So for this, I'm going to take the dodge tool here, and I'm in a quick mask mode. So dodge tool. Okay, I'm going to go into highlights. Okay, and make the exposure around 20. What this tool is doing is basically is going to make anything which is light gray uh, almost white uh, because I choose highlights. If I would have chosen mid-tones, it would take anything which is middle gray and make it into uh, a lighter gray. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to better my selection. What's black is selected. So by doing this, you see... Uh, I'm just taking this very light gray that's on the shoulder and making it to white. White is going to be non-selected. I don't want, uh, I don't want, um, you know, her shoulder to be in the selection. I just want the hair, nothing else. So I'm just fine-tuning that selection. 
I think that's going to be pretty good to start with. And you can also, you know, like use a brush. I can take a brush, basically. And uh, all right, making I'm going to make it white. And I, I don't want this. I'm going to make the opacity 100%. And I'm just going to take this out. I don't want this to be selected. OK, I can reverse. I can make this smaller. Press X. I'm in black. And I can just paint in black because I want this to be selected, uh, which is some of the hair she has there. So basically, you just refine here. I'm going to press click here on the brush and just brush, or you can just click one time, press shift. And you know, I, I know there is hair here to be selected. Okay, and in this part, I'm going to back on the dodge tool. So I'm just, you know, just refining my selection. Black is going to be what is selected at the end of the day on, 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 this, on this mode. So um, I'm going to go back to my dodge tool, and I think I just want to make this a little bit brighter. Okay, we'll see how that goes. I'm going to press Q. By pressing Q now, I'm back with the marching ants, and that's my selection. I'm going to go back to layers, and now I'm going to create a group that I'm going to call uh, dark hair. Okay, and now that I have an active selection, I just can click a mask, and you see that group is going to have that selection. Okay, now what I can do is... Um, I'm going to go in that group, and now I want to make her hairs darker. So I'm going to use basically two tools, which is curve and new and saturation to influence uh, the, her hair. But so let's go for the U and saturation. And on, um, on the dark hair, I think I'm going to try to desaturate her hair a little bit and uh, maybe colorize her hair into some browns, something like this. Okay, but don't use the lightness. Don't make, don't use this. It's gonna not look nice. Make sure this is a zero. Lightness is not what we're gonna be using. So, I'm just gonna give this a try, and now I'm gonna make a curve. But you see, this U and saturation because it's in a group that has this mask, only influences the hair. So all I did is, you know, I colorized the hair a little bit, and we'll see if we use that. I'm just gonna, you know, try this out. I'm gonna make a curve, and I'm gonna click in the middle and do like this that's going to make it darker I'm just going to tr I'm trying to make her darker hair so now I'm going to go back to the U and just desaturate even more okay and you know you just and as you play around with the curve and the U and saturation you're going to get different colors and I kind of like that okay okay so um <laughs> I think um I'm going to add a little bit more color there yeah, I'm going to go more toward the yellows and I'm going to desaturate even more on this one. Okay, that's pretty good. And on the curve, on the curve, I think I'm going to I'm going to protect the you see, I don't want to by making this the which is you see here it's too black here. And the way to do that, let me back up the curve here. I can make a point here. You see on the curve, the lower part of the curve is going to be my dark tones. Okay, so if I go, I do something like this. Okay, I'm making everything darker. But it's not completely black here. So I'm protecting my dark tones here and I'm playing more around with this. Okay, uh, there's still a lot of highlights here. So when you have something like this, one thing you can do is you just press Q to go back in a quick back mode. Take a brush, make sure you're 100% opacity. And I'm just going to brush over here so i'm making a selection here of the you see she's got a lot of very light hair okay press q again so now i've got this selected and now i'm going to make a curve but remember i'm in this group so whatever i selected is only going to influence all i'm doing is making this hairs which are a bit too bright darker okay i think this is pretty good this is like her dark hair let me show you the before and the after now we're going to try to do something which is a lot harder, which is to make um, her blonde hair. So that's going to be a little more tricky. So I'm going to turn this off, but I'm, I don't have to reduce the whole selection. I'm going to click here on the selection, okay? And I'm just going to cr create a new group that I'm going to call Platinum. I want to try to make uh, her hair completely blonde Platinum, which is pretty hard because she's got quite dark hair. So now I've got a selection. I'm making a mass, so I created a group. Same thing, I, I have the same selection. 
And now I'm going to play around to make it uh, platinum. Okay, so first we're going to make a curve. We're going to make a curve. And again, this curve is only going to influence her hair because it's in a group that has this mask on. So on this one, it's going to be a bit tricky. We're going to line up here. You see, by this is the darkest part of the photo. I'm lining up the darkest part of the photo. And I'm going to line up something like this. Okay, and usually I like to make s different curve. So I'm going to make one more curve in the same spirit. But this one, I'm just going to make everything a bit brighter. Okay, something like this. But you see now we're losing details here, uh, mainly here. So we're going to have to deal with that a bit later on. Okay, so one more curve and I'm going to do U saturation. So all these things are only happening here. And on the U and saturation, I think I'm going to go to um, around like tw colorize 24, something like this a bit. I remember I did like 24 and... Um, desaturate a little bit and I'm going to lower the opacity of this you know you just play around until you find the, the key thing is to find uh, you know the, the having the right selection okay and um, okay now I got something weird here uh, this is being a bit weird so what I can do is I can go on the mask here okay and I can bring back some of the original image because it does something a bit weird. So I'm making a, a smaller brush, but make sure that your opacity is at 10%, okay? And that your foreground color is black. Black is gonna conceal, white is gonna reveal. So by painting a bit of black here, I'm just blending a bit the original hair, how it was. Okay, I'm just fine tuning the mask, especially around here. Because it's really tricky to try to make somebody who's light brown into a platinum. It's really tricky, but it's kind of possible. That's why I wanted to show it to you. And you know, you just play around with this curve and you in saturation in this group, and you can make it literally any colors you want. I'm going to show you a couple more. Okay, something like this. I'm just blending this. And and uh, we didn't need to do it for the dark brown because it, there is there was less difference between dark brown and now the blonde thing. You know, I'm just brushing 10% slowly but surely. So platinum, it's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, I think on a curve, you see. So uh, in this platinum, I've got the U in saturation with a little bit of U colorized. Desaturate. It's like at 20. I've got a little curve that's going to add a bit of, you know, making it brighter. And I got this curve, and I think if I want to make it even more crazy, I can just bring this up a little, little bit more. And this up a little bit more. And if it gets weird here, don't forget to go here on the mask and maybe just brush in back with a brush that's 10%. The key thing is to uh, make a good selection. So now she's like a blonde platinum. So now we have two colors. We have platinum here. And we have dark hair here. Okay, dark hair. Now let's try, let's make her like a redhead. So I'm gonna take that section because that section was pretty good, the one I did here. Create a new group and create a mask again. Let's call this red. Okay, and same thing. So we're gonna do uh, U in saturation. So uh, colorize. I'm gonna go into the reds here. Maybe something like this and just add saturation and you know, just try to find something that matches so I always do you in saturation do not touch lightness and add a curve always a little curve where you make usually things a bit darker something like this that's pretty good that's that's a redhead so you just play around like this and you know you can make any color so let's I can take that selection back you know create a new group and um, and a mask and you know color and um, okay let me take the red off and you know same thing I can just throw in there some use saturation and uh, make you know green uh, very green hair you know and then just make another curve and make it darker so you could do like something completely unrealistic like green like this you know uh, so this is yeah let's call it green and uh, you know, could lower the opacity, you know, to sort of mix up with original, 
or not. So that was green, that's red. Uh, oops, and yeah, everyone is in a group, that's platinum, like blonde, and that's dark hair. Voila, a little cool trick, and it's, it's, it's a good training because you're gonna learn curve and you're gonna learn you in saturation. And uh, you can try on this, you know, before you actually go to the hairdresser and change your hair color, you can actually taste it this way. Hope you enjoy this, this little trick. And, uh, you know, uh, play around with Photoshop. You can do so many funny things. All right, guys, I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any comments or things you would like me to teach you on Photoshop or Lightroom or photography, just leave a comment. I will look at it and do my best to fulfill your wishes. Mesdames et messieurs, see you in another episode. Au revoir. Wow.